What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Crypto Kings. My name is Jason and today we'll be diving into Pulse Chain's testnet, walking you through how to set the test network up to be familiar with the process prior to launch. This will ensure that you can be some of the first people into Pulse Chain. We'll check out some stats of the test network and run through some transactions together to see everything firsthand. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and let's get this video up to 500 likes. More engagement from all of you will help get this video and the opportunity of Pulse Chain to so many more individuals like yourself who are seeking a better life for themselves and loved ones. So stick around until then because you will want to hear it all. Now that being said, let's dive in. As of September 29th, Testnet has gone live on GitLab and as advised by one of the developers, Testnet is expected to run a minimal of two months prior to launch. Richard has mentioned that he wants to launch mainnet as soon as possible, even if some of the bridging and other features may not be ready at the time. So I definitely recommend getting as prepared for snapshot as soon as possible, which only requires you to move your tokens off of an exchange and into an ERC20 wallet. Exchanges are subject to counterparty risk and you do not actually hold your own keys when they are on an exchange. So for security purposes as well, I definitely recommend moving your ERC20 tokens over now as a snapshot date has not officially been announced, but expected in the near future. All right, so let's go ahead and click on testnet for Pulse Chain and dive in. First, we'll see a detailed description of how to connect your MetaMask wallet to the new network. This will be an identical setup when Pulse Chain launches as to how to access your airdropped coins and begin using the new network. Now, for anyone who has never added a new network to their MetaMask before, I highly recommend getting some first-hand experience and practicing on your own to familiarize yourself with the process. It's quite simple as we'll go ahead and open up our MetaMask wallet. We'll select the drop-down menu and click on Custom RPC. Then, we'll continue to copy the information over from GitLab into each appropriate box. Then. We'll continue to copy the information over provided by GitLab into each of the appropriate boxes. So it's as simple as that. Once we have all the information in here, we'll go ahead and save this as a new network. Now in the drop down network menu, we'll see that Pulse Chain Testnet as an option. We can go ahead and select on that, where it'll show us our balance of TPLS which is just a test variation of Pulse. So, wanna try doing some of your own transactions on a test network? We can scroll down to get TPLS using their faucet. So, we'll click on the link here, connect our MetaMask wallet, then simply click the request button to receive your free TPLS. Now, I've already received my free TPLS within the last 24 hours, but you're gonna be able to get your free one as well. And with this, you're free to do whatever you'd like. Next, we're gonna hop over to scan.pulsechain.com to get an inside look on statistics of the current testnet server. Here at the top, it gives us an average block time at 4.5 seconds right now, through roughly 13.6 million blocks that have been created. We see underneath the new blocks that are consistently being created on this test network. They've ran through roughly 510 million transactions on the network so far. Now let's scroll down here and check one of these transactions out. So this transaction was done about 32 minutes ago and has so far been confirmed by over 429 blocks and counting. We see that 4 Ethereum was sent by the user and the transaction fee was only 0.000021 Ethereum. Well, let's do some quick math with that. Against Ethereum's current price at recording of roughly $35,060. Now, multiplying the two, we see that the transaction fee is only 7.5 cents. That is incredible to see, as I know I've spent tens of thousands of dollars throughout my trades on the Ethereum blockchain. The fees and speed has me excited for Pulse Chain, as I've been a victim like countless others paying ridiculously high gas fees before. So next, let's hop on over to this tokens tab here. We'll get a chance to take a look at all the current tokens in the Pulse Chain test net. With the test server, we see the total supplies of each ERC20 coin here in the list and accounted for. So, with the entire Ethereum system state copied over onto Pulse Chain, 
all the coins are there and accounted for in these transactions that are going on in the testnet server we see that it's working flawlessly which gets me excited that pulse chain is going to launch sooner than we know so thanks for diving in with me to the testnet server for pulse chain it's exciting to see the concept everyone's been heavily anticipated over come to light and holding up to its network capability promises now if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on. As with any new information about Pulse Chain released, I'll be live streaming the news immediately, followed by in-depth videos of what these updates mean and walkthroughs if needed. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and drop a comment on how I did. I truly appreciate everyone's feedback, whether positive or constructive, as my goal is to make these videos as best as possible for all of you. Thank you everyone. And be on the lookout for the next video so you too can become a king of cryptos.